Oh, hello, internet, view enthusiasts, newcomers, old folk in the view ecosystem. Let's continue reading the docs in the computed properties. That's where things get juicy. There's a basic example. In template expressions are very convenient but they are meant for simple operations. Putting too much logic in your templates can make them bloated and hard to maintain. For example, if we have an object with a nested array like this, name property with John Doe and then a list of books. And we want to display different messages depending on if author already has some books or not. Has published books, books with a span, here we look for the length of the books inside author. If it's larger than zero, yes, otherwise no. At this point, the template is getting a bit cluttered. We have to look at it for a second before realizing that it performs a calculation depending on author.books. More importantly, we probably don't want to repeat ourselves if we need to include this calculation in the template more than once. Oh, I've seen this so many times. That's why for complex logic that includes reactive data, it is recommended to use a computed property. Here's the example refactored. We first of all import computed and we have the same thing, it's a reactive object and then here we have a computed ref, a ref. Let me say it again, this is a ref. It's not a reactive object or anything like that, the computed returns a ref. Const publish books message computed return author books length larger than zero yes otherwise no. And then instead of this mouthful here inside the template we use this thing here. That makes things easier to read. Yeah we can sure try it by copying this thing and putting it in the playground and then you see yes if we actually remove these books uh, then no. Here we have declared a computed property publish books message. The computed function expects to be passed a getter function and the return value is a computed ref. Similar to normal refs you can access the computed result as publish books message dot value. Computed refs are also auto wrapped in templates so you can reference them without value in template expressions which means here we don't need the dot value. A computed property automatically tracks its reactive dependencies. View is aware that the computation of published books message depends on author books here. So it will update any bindings that depend on published books message when author books changes. Yeah, so if author books, author books is a reactive object. It's reactive. So view is smart enough to know that when this thing changes the value, then this thing needs to be recomputed. If we have here in the example we, in the example we said before, if we have an empty books array initially and then we have a method const add book which is equal to uh, author well which what it does is author dot books dot push new book and then we have a button here which is on click runs add book and we have this button if we click this button then this message will change because this thing this computer is smart enough to see this thing changes so let's recompute this thing and the new value of author books length is one which is larger than zero so the message will be yes that's 
really cool, obviously. <clears throat> Computed caching versus methods. You may have noticed we can achieve the same result by invoking a method in the expression. Calculate book message function, calculate book message returns the message computed from this. Yeah, we could do this like that. Instead of a computed property, we can define the same function as a method. For the end result, the two approaches are indeed exactly the same. However, the difference is that computed properties are cached based on their reactive dependencies. A computed property will only re-evaluate when some of its reactive dependencies have changed. This means as long as author books has not changed, multiple access to Polish book message will immediately return the previous computed result without having to run the getter function again. This also means the following computed property will never update because they don't know they don't now is not re a reactive dependency. Yeah. This will never recompute. In comparison, a method invocation will always run the function whenever a render whenever a re-render happens. Okay, let's do something cool. Let's grab this thing. Let's put it here, just to show it. Just to show how this thing works. Um, let's add this now thing here. And if I print it out, like this, we have this timestamp. And that's a computed property. We can also have this uh, um, let's do computed now and calc now or get now get now equals a function that returns date dot now we have this computed now and then we have this diff with get now method that we run like this. They're about the same and we need to somehow update something. If we click here, you see this let's make it a bit clear. This get now and this is computed now. Okay, so both of them are the same because we're computed at the same time. And if we update something on the component by clicking, for example, this thing that changes the state, we see that the get now changes because it's recomputed, because it's always recomputed, because it just runs, it's just a function that runs when the template gets updated. Uh, but this doesn't because the value is cached. So it's not recomputed. None it doesn't depend on any reactive property and in particular it doesn't depend on any reactive property that changed so it's not computed it's cached that's why this thing changed the computed now ah sorry didn't did not change and the get now which is recomputed every time changed so you see that's the difference writable computed Computed properties are, by default, getter only. If you attempt to assign a new value to a computed property, you will receive a runtime warning. In the rare cases where you need a writable computed property, you can create one by providing both a getter and a setter, which would be like computer, computed. Inside, you have an object. And then you have a get method and a set get method, which gets a new value and it needs to return the value that we want, the computed value, and this set needs to just change the values we need to change. Let's try this thing. So if we go, um, let's get rid of these things. We don't care about this anymore. Let's get rid of all this. Now this publish book message is a computed property. If we Try to reassign that to else, then mm, we 
we nothing happens because we probably need a um, button rise reassign computed which triggers a on click a method called reassign or we could actually do this equal else let's get rid of this thing if we click this now it's gonna complain it doesn't do anything let's move this thing outside reassign computed computed um, thus reassign the computed value to else oops or to oops and we put it here if we click the button ah yeah there you go right operate it's a warning not an error right operation failed computed value is read only because we are trying to change the value of something which is read only all right yeah that's how this thing works so we should need to set getters and setters instead like um, let's copy this here for the moment and then here if we want to use getters and setters we need a get method and a set method with a new value <clears throat> and the get returns um, this and the set let's say we change the value to no and this is like empty books in a really weird way because you wouldn't do that this way usually that's like a very unrealistic scenario if you want to empty the books you would go access the author books and make it reassign it to an empty array but let's for the sake of explain of display let's do if new value equal no then we are going to um, do the author dot books equal to an empty array else do nothing else do nothing basically we don't need this else all right so we go here now and we have computer get set we add books then we reassign computer is gonna assign the value no it says to no and it doesn't complain all right let's clean if this thing up let's add books and then reassign computed and the books are length no there you go so this thing yeah that's to show how this thing works so we do this now when you run full name dot value equal John Doe the setter will be invoked and first name and last name will be updated accordingly we get combination of the first and last name but if we try to change the full name then first name and last name are reassigned also best practices getters should be side effect free it is important to remember that computed get function computed getter functions should only perform pure computation and be free of side effects um, pure computation means I think just not having side effects what is a pure function a pure function is a function that has these properties returns values 
if the return values are identical for identical arguments and function has no side effects. Okay. For example, don't make async requests or mutate the DOM inside a computed getter. Think of a computed property as declaratively describing how to derive a value based on other values. Its only responsibility should be computing and returning a value. Later in the guide we will discuss Excuse me. Later in the guide we will discuss how we can perform side effects in reaction to state changes with watchers. Avoid mutating computed value. The return value from a computed property is derived state. Think of it as a temporary snapshot. Every time the source state changes, a new snapshot is created. It does not make sense to mutate a snapshot. So a computed return value should be treated as read-only and never be mutated. Instead, update the source state it depends on to trigger new computations. Sure. So these are best practices. You don't. It doesn't mean you always need to follow them a billion percent all the time. If you really, really need to break them, you could do it. There are mechanisms for that, as we have just seen. But try to avoid doing that because it's it makes it very hard to think about what is happening in your application if you begin to mutate things in this way. So basically computed are read only. That's an analogy which is interesting, which I like. They are like snapshots of your data, basically. Derived state. It's derived state. Alright, so that's it for computed properties and now let's take a break. <laughs>